Hello and welcome to this spreadsheet for mooring forces calculation developed by the NavalArc.com. This spreadsheet is designed to calculate the mooring forces on the mooring lines for the case when the ship is moored to the key, with either its port or its starboard side aligned with the key. Mooring lines are running from the side of the vessel to the key side. For this condition, this spreadsheet calculates the line forces in the mooring lines. The calculations are based on the U.S. Navy Document Design Data Sheet 582-1, Calculations for Mooring Systems. One point to note is the coordinate system that this spreadsheet uses. The origin is at the forward end, which is the bow. The x-axis is positive towards the aft. All the longitudinal locations will have to be reported from the bow end, positive towards the aft. The y-axis is positive from the center line of the vessel towards the key side, and the z-axis starts from the mean sea level. Let's take a look at how this entire spreadsheet works. For the spreadsheet to work, the user has to provide some inputs. These inputs include some particulars of the ship, the particulars of the key side and the particulars of the mooring lines. Once these particulars are available, then based on the formulas given in DDS 582, the spreadsheet calculates the line forces and reports the factor of safety on each and every line. We can use this spreadsheet for calculating the line forces for a maximum of 16 mooring lines. Let's see how the different parts of this spreadsheet work. The first type of input is the vessel geometry, which includes the general particulars, vessel dimensions, and the end and side projected wind areas of the vessel. Next worksheet is the environment inputs which require the design speed and angle of current and wind. Another parameter is the water depth, the total depth of water available at the key side also has to be input. Next is the worksheet to input properties of mooring lines. A mooring line running from the ship to the key side will have a bit to which it is tied, and then it goes through a chalk to the bollard on the key side. This is how it looks in the sectional view this line going from bit to chalk and from chalk to the bollard. For each mooring line, the user has to enter the coordinates of the chalk on the ship's side, and the coordinates of the bollard on the key side. The Young's modulus, cross-sectional area, number of rope parts and MBL of each rope are also to be input. Once these properties of the mooring lines have been input, all the inputs required for the calculation have been provided by the user and the spreadsheet can now start the evaluation of the forces. We go to the next spreadsheet which is the output spreadsheet for wind loads. In this sheet the wind forces and the yaw moment due to the wind are calculated based on the graphs provided in DDS 582. These are the graphs for the longitudinal and the transverse wind forces and the wind yaw moment. From these curves the spreadsheet picks up the correct values of coefficients for the forces, and then based on the wind areas provided by the user and the formulas provided in the DDS 582, the wind forces and the wind yaw moment are calculated. Similarly the current loads are also calculated from the curves provided in the DDS 582. Once the wind and current loads are calculated, the final forces are calculated by adding up the wind and the current forces. Once these final forces are available, the mooring line forces are calculated by the spreadsheet based on the DDS 582 guidelines, and the factor of safety reported for each line. This is how this entire spreadsheet works. It can be very useful in mooring operations when the ship's side is to be moored to the key side. It can be used to design a mooring pattern and to select the appropriate number of mooring lines and the configuration of the mooring pattern. So, that was about the Mooring Forces Calculator developed by the NavalArc.com. To download the spreadsheet please visit the website. Thank you very much.